The amount of people who just come over and say, what is it? They want to know the story. And there's always that one question, is it a real one? Yes, it's a real one. Oh, really? <laughs> and it also has an interesting story in, in its first owner was a guy called Anthony Lapine, who was the designer of the Porsche 928. Hi, I'm Terry Lawler, and I'm a 356 Speedster driver. The Speedster is a 1958 model, and Porsche actually built the Speedster as a lightweight car to get performance out of it. Its original engine was a 1600cc and I think it produced 75 horsepower. It's a very light car but it's still, you know, not all that powerful. So when we installed it, we put a big ball kit, so it's 1800cc, small cam, a fuel injection, put disc brakes on it, so it goes and it stops. You know, the Speedster is just such a beautiful shape and a classic shape, you know, and there were probably nicer cars around in 1958, Jaguars, but the Speedster just has that, that shape that everyone recognises. It's really, really nice. So driving the Speedster is quite an easy drive. You know, it does go really well. The steering's very direct. It's a sort of car that you wouldn't push as hard as an i11. It's a touring car. You know, for what it's worth, I would hate to, you know, lose it off the road somewhere. And, you know, it, it's a very valuable car, and I just wouldn't want to scratch it. So we drive it very conservatively, really. Porsche has always been a fascinating car. Really, the 911 shape hasn't changed for years and years, and, and that's what I aspired to. I sold one of my businesses and had a few dollars, and I thought that would be the time to buy a Porsche. And I've probably had, in the last 20 years, maybe 15 Porsches, and I've had some really special ones. The, uh, the Speedster is the longest car I've ever owned. After we got back from uh, Classic Le Mans, it came up 356 Speedster for sale. And it was it was really tired, it needed work, and that's really the project that I wanted to do. So it was about a, a four year restoration, not constant. It would stop work for a few months waiting for parts, and that sort of, that's why it took so long. Really, the, the, the biggest pleasure in owning that car really has been restoration and from what it was when we first bought it to what it is today and just the fun we've had in it. We met lots of really nice people through the clubs and these get-togethers. It's the social side of once a month, once every second month, you get together for coffee and, and uh, that's what the old cars are all about.